What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarter. Let's get right off into this, man. I had no idea that Dwight Howard was fighting a case. They say that man fighting the case on what they say. He got a case. He they fight. He fighting the case on. Okay, he got a lawsuit case on him. Howard is accused of sexual assault, battery intentional infliction of emotional distress false imprisonment that's kidnap to somebody named stephen harper the accuser stephen harper said that howard attempted to initiate a threesome with a man dressed as a woman named kitty see that that's what be crazy about these transgenders they call they booty holes vagina. That's what they really call. I'm just giving y'all the, the clean version. They call they booty holes vagina. So he bring a man with them to do a threesome. And the man name is Kitty. When his real name is Brutus. <laughs> his real name is Brutus. So he, he bring Brutus to this threesome with Stephen Harper, who was only expecting some one-on-one -on -one sword fighting. <laughs> so, so Stephen Harper wanted a one-on-one -on -one sword fight with Dwight Howard where they puncture each other, wreck them. Dwight Howard called himself <laughs> being on some slick stuff on his on his Bill Cobb and sneak it and snuck another man. <laughs> <laughs> to the get together you know they like again they like that roman sex that's how the romans had sex they would sound with themselves between two men one man to be in front of the one man and one man to be behind them while they stabbing each other violently <laughs> these dudes terrible so he bought a transgender dressed like a woman. See, that's what be crazy about them. You don't want a woman. You want a man that dressed like a woman. That's retarded. Then he said this. Then the article goes on to say, Harper was supposedly unaware of Kitty's or Brutus. Remember, the, the tranny name is Brutus. But his intimate name when tricking niggas is called kitty so harper was unaware of kitty's involvement with their activities and declined so when howard bought in the the other man as a third wheel the other man who thought it was one-on-one -on -one man stabbing he felt some type of way like hold on you said it was just gonna be me and you y'all both gonna try to <laughs> Rape me. <laughs> Dude, terrible. Howard then allegedly began touching Harper's penis, his cock, touching his cock through his underwear. So it began, so the man's already naked, basically, and Howard bring another man out on him. <laughs> they were finna rape the hell out of Steven. <laughs> so Howard began rubbing his cock through his underwear. This is what the paperwork say. To which Harper began, became uncomfortable and asked him to stop. Howard then told Harper, you're going to do whatever. Because you know I got money. <laughs> So you're going to do whatever. He was going to, he was going to like it. He said, wait, wait, Howard told Harper, he's the tranny. He's going to do whatever. And he was going to like it. Mr. Harper was in fear of uh, imminent bodily harm. Because Howard is a seven foot aggressive punk he he aggressive he liked the he liked to take it he liked the you know that's the type of stuff he do man y'all know dwight howard 
He very playful. He that's why he felt like see how happy he was in the NBA with all them strong, tall basketball players. While he a undercover punk, all in the locker room with them in the shower, in the shower with them, looking at Kobe and looking at Shaq and them, <laughs> all at the All Star game, smelling these dudes, smelling these dudes laundry. <laughs> a straight up straight up punk that's why nobody wants to play with him <laughs> okay now it all starting to make sense because i was saying like man why ain't nobody pick up dwight howard because they all knew he liked men everybody taking their clothes off he bumping into people while they naked on accident which he was doing it on purpose <laughs> He the last one to get in the shower, looking at everybody naked. Then he's seven feet tall, so he could peek over. He could pe- peek over on people, look down over them. Dude, terrible, man. Straight up flaming. <laughs> Dude is a flaming sucker, man. So it goes on. The paperwork goes on to say, Harper was in fear of imminent bodily harm. Then he was pinned down and forced to remain in place. See, look how aggressive he is. He's an aggressive punk. He pinned he pinned the man down. So he pinned him down and forced him to remain in place while defendant continued to sexual assault him. So he's sitting up here playing all type of childish Orlando magic games playing all type of showtime game with the man. He trying to suck his penis. Well, he said that's what he did. Pin, forcefully pinned the man down while he continued to assault him through his boxers. So somehow he do a trick where he could suck you through your boxers. That's terrible. <laughs> that, dude, that, dude, that dude is terrible, man. <laughs> a seven foot, a seven foot, Sucker. <laughs> Crazy. So he forcibly pinned the man down. It's crazy. This man. This is this crazy. This man. Bro, you got a kidnap case and a kidnap, a kidnapping case because you want to steal some head. That's crazy. You you didn't you didn't stole some head from that crazy. That's crazy. So you didn't, you blowing this man through his boxers. This dude's terrible, man. <laughs> like some like some Wizard of Oz type stuff. So let's say he pinned him down, forced him to remain in place while defendant continued to sexually assault him. The lawsuit read. <clears throat> then it said this. Howard denies the sexual assault claim, though, though he has stated that Harper was aware of Kitty's presence before even arriving. Okay, yeah, they did release some text messages where which Howard told the man, you want a threesome? And the man was like, a boy, a girl. And Howard let it be known that, you know, he wanted a threesome. He want two men up inside him. This is terrible. Harper was aware of Kitty's presence. Brutus, remember, that's Brutus, the tranny. Before even arriving, Howard told the court that all three consensually did intimate things together and to admit Harper's claims. He also admitted to their interaction from an Instagram DM leading to their sexual encounter at his home also this took place at howard's house he had the tranny dude he had the tranny dude ducked off in his house so while he would be getting pounded by the steven dude the tranny would come out on him and then they both a pound steven <laughs> God. this dude is terrible this dude is terrible, man. Dwight Howard is a straight up sucker, man. That's a sick, sick, twisted sucker.
So the other, <coughs> the other gay dude named Stephen Harper. Why they got all these aggressive homosexual names? Stephen Harper. I mean Harper. <laughs> Stephen Harper. So he liked the stroke and strum things. <laughs> Dude, the sucker. He was he was just in China, playing over there in China, tearing, tearing them little Asians up. You know, cause them Asians little over there. They like the tallest one, like four feet seven. So he he was running through them Asians like three, four at a time. <laughs> this dude is a straight up sucker, man. So it also said they were sending text messages and sex video to each other. So these dudes sending all type of videos and them deep throat and vegetables. <laughs> these dudes really turning each other on through video messages, deep throat and squashing. Deep throat and cucumbers and plunging, <laughs> plunging, <laughs> plunging they damn self with bananas and carrots. <laughs> <clears throat> Just mishandling the damn fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Sitting on. Say they sit, they say this paperwork say they were sitting on champagne bottles. <laughs> like <laughs> like Atlanta strippers. <laughs> These pumps sitting up here <laughs> ripping, damaging they damn selves. Like strip ripping them damn selves, going to the emergency room, trying to top each other off on who opened. <laughs> <laughs> straight up, straight up sucker. Crazy. So they were sending text messages and video pics to each other. Crazy. <clears throat> the man named Stephen, Stephen Harper. That's, go right back to that saying. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. He tried, he trying to force, he trying to redo creation. Like, man, get up out of here, man. <laughs> That's crazy. He was blowing this man through his drawers. Not I'm talking about not the boxes with the opening to it. Like this man had on speedos, didn't even have the opening to it. He Somehow he do a trick where he can get to it without a opening. <laughs> this dude. I told you he had a, he's an aggressive pump. Y'all saw how aggressive he is? Oh. Y'all saw how aggressive he is? Y'all remember what he did? Live, live on TV doing a live game? He was going to do anything in his power to grab that man private part, man. Let me just show you just how much. Let me show you just how aggressive this dude is. Let me show you, man. Look, this dude is an aggressive, an aggressive pump. He'll do look, he gonna look, he gonna get it. Let me show you what he did. Look at this dude on live TV. While all these look, your whole career, you an NBA player. You know cameras everywhere, all around the whole stadium, because this is a multi-billion dollar industry. They don't want to miss the fans, the refs, the players, reactions, all type of thing. You know that. Look what this dude do, because that lust demon, that sucker bitch rose up in him. Look, he finna seek out, man. Look, look, look at him. Look at him. Grab right there. Look, look, look at him. Look, dude, put his hand right here. Like, man, what you doing? He like literally went there. Look, look, sought out his cop. Look at that. The dude is an aggressive punk. Look, look at that. Look, dude, like, oh man, what you doing? Look. Look. 
Just don't squeeze between two men. I told you that's the stuff he do. Look, Big Self going to just squeeze between them two men and then seek out where the man penis at and just stroke him like stroke him like a gangster. Like, yeah, I told you, I don't care anybody around. i get you. i grab you. Look at him. Right there. Look at him. Aggressive punk. Look. Look what he do. Literally, I'm talking about literally. Then he said he didn't know the man. He when Stephen Harper first came out and said Dwight Howard did this to him. Dwight Howard said the man lying. I don't know what he talking about. <clears throat> I never met the man. He lying. Now he admitted that they all was having sex with each other. All of them in there ramming each other like, like beast. Then you be hearing people saying like this, you know, if that's something that they choose to do. That's on them. Oh my God. You know that I don't see nothing wrong with it. Well, if you don't see nothing wrong with it, then why you ain't doing it? If ain't nothing wrong with it, why you ain't doing it? You know, people say that stuff, they be sounding crazy when they say stuff like that. Or when they, or, or when, the homosexual be saying stuff like this. You know, just be you. We just being ourselves. We being, you're not being yourself. How are you being yourself? <coughs> you don't have a choice on when you come into this world. You don't get to decide. God made that choice. God decided you were going to be a man. No matter what you do, you still a man. God said she was going to be a woman. No matter what she do, she's not going to change that cycle coming every month. She's not going to change that. So you not being you, you not being real with yourself, you going against yourself. So when they say that to try to make it sound real, you not being real, you being real fake because you denying your nature of who you really is. And yes, it's shameful. Yes, it's disgusting. When you allowing men to ram they Johnson down your damn throat, beating they balls up against your chin. Yeah, that's shameful. Very sad. And I and you know why I talk aggressively like that? And you know why I get graphically in detail like that about that? Because they always try to desensitize it. They always try to make it seem like it ain't shameful. They always try to make it seem like it ain't nothing like that. And that this is what they trying to push on the kids. No, 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 no. We're not pushing this on the kids. No kid should be having a person jamming a damn penis down their throat, ramming their balls up against their face. Ain't nothing loving about that. Ain't nothing romantic about that. Ain't nothing sane about that. I don't give a damn what they say. Ain't nothing sane about another man leaving his damn sperm in your belly and you a man. Your body ain't even equipped to handle that. What's saying about that? What's loving about that? What's real about that? Nothing at all. You letting this world take y'all to hell. You letting this world transform y'all minds into accepting this dog animal living and trying to call it love. This ain't love, this hate. This hate, that would be considered hate any other place, any other way. God said it's hate. I don't care what the world say. I don't care what the LGBTQRSEFG say. I don't care what the white man say. I don't care. What matters is what God say. God said it's nasty. God said it's filthy. God said he did not create you for that. He created you better than that. Satan created that sex for you to go against God to actually show your disgust in your own self. Because you definitely got to be disgusted in yourself if you don't have no problem with a man bending you over and ramming his penis through your anus. Oh, you definitely got to feel some type of way about yourself. You hate yourself like that? You hate yourself like that? That you're going to change everything that God made you to be and you're trying to program yourself to talk like a woman, act like a woman, dress like a woman, getting getting your body restructured and done to try to force it to accept what you're not. And then you're talking about what well, I'm being myself. How are you being yourself? 
Being yourself is accepting yourself the way you are, not what you're trying to do that goes against who you are. There's a big difference. That stuff sounds good, but it's actually fake. And it's definitely retarded and insane. You bought a tranny dressed up like a woman named Kitty, but you don't want a woman. But you want a man that looks exactly like a woman. Ain't that retarded? You can't even make right decisions for yourself. How are you going to make them for someone else? It's very nasty and shameful walking around carrying dudes sperms in your belly, multiple dudes sperms in your belly. Every time you belch, your damn breath smell like David and Sam and Peter and Paul, Mike and Jason. Hell yeah, there's something wrong with that. Gonna get me to accept that. Ain't finna desensitize me. Ain't finna make me acceptable of that stuff to try to program my mind to actually embrace the devil. Nope, not gonna happen. Sorry. You can keep your money. You can keep your gifts. You can keep your rewards because I don't want it if that's what I have to be involved in. Okay? Absolutely not. Trying to get people to go against God to accept this abomination. Trying to get people to not say nothing about what they doing and trying to force on the children in the environment of the world. Damaging the damn fishing hole. Running up in these dudes and girls, then they laying down with us. And now I didn't got your damn bodily fluids because you sexually crazed because you got demonic spirits on you. You can't fought, fight off. Walking around with your damn head looking like Woody Woodpecker. Boy, get up out of here. I don't buy into that stuff. I never let this world deceive me. Hell, I okay, I'll just be poured in. I, I don't need your endorsements, okay? I don't need your sponsorship. Hell, I ain't finna send me to hell with that trash. I'm gonna stand for God no matter what. Bring it on. I don't care. Ain't finna get me like that. Gonna get these dudes, these people scary. They cowards. You sitting up here, got a kidnapping charge. You sitting up here taking head. Like, dude, you are a sick, twisted dude. You, my, look, bro. You taking head, bro. You got a lawsuit because you kidnapped somebody and took, you kidnapped somebody to suck they cop. Like, bro, what is wrong with you, dude? Dwight Howard, right. How would you like me to suck your cop? <laughs> How would you like me to kidnap you and suck your cop? You know I'm seven feet, so I can put you in the damn, <laughs> I can put you in the damn sack and run off with you. <laughs> that with this seven foot punk doing like man get up out of here Dwight right get up out of here terrible sad man y'all ridiculous abandoning y'all positions as men abandoning y'all positions as fathers sitting up here seven foot trying to talk like peaches trying to talk like Sharon trying to talk like Sheila Seven feet tall, talking about, no, what are you talking about? Boy, stop that. Go on somewhere with that. Boy, get up out of here, clown. Get in your position. All that money. You don't even know what to do with it. So you then made your damn self a circle of sword fighting like you a damn Englishman. Like, your, like, you, like, you, like, you, like you French. <laughs> like you wanted them damn three months to tears boy get up out of here aggressive punk sitting up here <laughs> taking dick like boy get up out of here boy there's something wrong with you he didn't math he didn't got the damn David the David Blaine magician book and found out how to blow a nigga through his drawers <laughs> you should go to damn jail you should go your dumb ass to jail when they ask you what you in here because you kidnapped somebody and sucked his dick. You sound crazy. Boy, you is boy, you something wrong with you. <laughs> That's why Kobe, I you I was salty at Kobe. Now I changed my mind. I was just telling my one guy that. I said, man, ooh, Kobe made me mad at the end of his career. I ain't like how he was treating Dwight Howard, man. Now I see <laughs> you went in Kobe face. Trying to run a play like 
uh, trying to get close up on Kobe like, hey, could you teach me this Laker handbook? Your damn breath, your damn breath smelling like a, a, a man orgy. Your damn breath, breath, <laughs> your damn breath smell like a, a football team huddle. Your damn breath, your damn breath smell like a damn autopsy. You all, you all on the goat. You all on the goat trying to learn how to pick and roll to try to practice rolling your butt on Kobe. Like then he found out you a flaming punk. And like, hold on, this man a, a, a punk. Oh man, you got to go. We we trying to win championships over here, and you up here trying to trick us. You trying to get us drunk, spike our damn drinks, and and suck us through our shorts. Boy, get up out of here. My bad, Kobe, man. I apologize. I thought you were just being wrong to Dwight Howard. Now I see he tricked you. Had you believing he was a another shot. Only, only to get to that damn Laker locker room, he couldn't hold his damn self. He couldn't, he couldn't control his damn self. <laughs> he wanted, he, he wanted, he gonna tell Magic Johnson, get him some of them AIDS. <laughs> Oh, 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 man, please. <laughs> Straight up sucker, man. <laughs> oh, man. And would you believe this dude, this dude really had the nerve to say he not gay. This dude going to say he not gay. Right. You just like niggas leaving a sperm in your damn belly. <laughs> right. Like a damn kangaroo. <laughs> you want a damn kangaroo pouch. <laughs> right. You ain't gay. You just got a damn kangaroo pouch with other niggas seeds inside you. Like, like you know, remember Johnny Appleseed? <laughs> he walking around like a damn sperm bank. Boy, please. Man, it do terrible, man. Crazy. Anyway, man, a lot of people scared to address that stuff. They got these dudes shook. These dudes fake as hell. You know what's so fake about people, man? If they wasn't on this internet, they'll be calling it like it is. But because they on this internet, they don't call it like it is. They scared. Cats don't want to tell the truth. Cats wouldn't. Look, they wouldn't stand for this stuff if they was if they wasn't on the internet. Like Dwayne Wade, you think Dwayne Wade would be having his son calling his look? That's what I'm saying. He do terrible prostituting your son to the industry to get a damn contract deal. Pro let letting this woman come in your damn life and take your damn son while he's seven, eight years old and got you disrespecting him as a father, calling him a female. So ain't, so, so, let me get this right, Dwayne Wade. You ain't got no problem with another man ramming his cock in your underage son mouth, even if he was grown. You ain't got no problem with that as a man. You ain't got no problem with that as a man. Another man ripping your son open. And you sitting up here doing, the, you doing the worst damage to him than any stranger could do because you his father and you, and you getting him ready for it first. You programming him for it first. Talking about you supportive of him. No, as a father, you supposed to mold him. You supposed to correct him when he wrong. You supposed to educate him on life and make sure he walking in the right direction till he is old enough and mature of age to now take everything you taught him to be better in life, to make right decisions. You don't lead him to his damn death. You don't support his error. But again, that's what they do when they want them checks. Everything got a price. This ain't nothing but the same damn time when they was sacrificing their kids to them fake devils and demons and molding them and uh, 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 bail. This ain't no different. Like boy, get up out of here, man. Y'all, y'all people terrible, man.